Did you know there's a bunch of meme coins on Luna Classic? You probably didn't because we don't really advertise it. I'm the only person out here, I think, really talking about it in this space, but it exists. Did you know that there are dApps being built? Did you know that there's a lending protocol about to launch? Now, remember, if you will, Anchor Protocol was the reason, the primary source anyway, and reason for what was going on behind the scenes at Terraform Labs and Luna back in the old days that lending protocol, that ability to earn yield, all of that was what brought a vibrance to that uh, Terra and Luna community. And now that entire community is classic and we're trying to bring it all back. Now that does start with a repeg where we burn a little bit of tokens because there's too many tokens, we know that. Uh, but there's also lending protocols that need to be established and things that we need to have here to make this a vibrant community. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified. Today, we're going to talk about one of the games that's available to you right now on this ecosystem. Uh, we're going to talk about the price action and uh, there's a few proposals in here and we're going to uh, look at those. We're not going to laughingly look at them, although it seems to be what other people are doing. Without further ado, let's check that out. All right, so first of all, here's the increased burn tax for Luna Classic to 1.2. And the comments, you can see here this nonsense again. First of all, are we back to this again? This isn't 2022. Before we do these proposals, why not ask Binance? Because they're the ones that are going to screw us if it, if they don't like it. Uh, no gas raise, no tri tax raise. So everybody wants to continue to burn. And look, we need to burn, but we need to do it the right way. The right way is going to be with, uh, there is a process. And look, I assure you, it's being worked on. It's just not being talked about. Uh, also, uh, the, the conversation here on this repeg proposal, a community repeg included a uh, community lockup. And then here is an idea about why it's not going to work. Um, so to all lung holders and stakers, uh, whoever brings this idea, please sit, sit and think. All investors put their investments to stake and forgot about it to receive full stake rewards. Do not think they have time to lock up some USTC to bring a peg. This will be centralized staking and no one wants to receive a partial staking reward. If in other chains, you can receive better percentage. Now, it's very simple and I don't want to be the smart guy in the room uh, that fixes that. It's a simple problem with the idea. Uh, the idea, of course, would be that you get a staking reward, whatever the staking reward is. Well, you know what? I can fix that by, by saying, if you help to repeg the USTC, then you get your normal staking, but you get an accelerated staking by staking USTC. You get more than other people. Problem solved. Uh, you, they were just looking at it the wrong way. They were trying to uh, create a penalty, and you don't create penalty. You create additional rewards. Just simple. Uh, so anyway, there are proposals out here that we're talking about. Uh, One dollar fast track recovery. Uh, there's a lot of uh, th there's a lot of theory here, but you know, guys, go read this for yourself. Uh, decentralized the one factor uh, authorized on every wallet. There's plenty of different proposals, uh, but we're going to talk about. Uh, the one that matters right now, the proposal that's up is the ultimate repeg plan. We're going to talk about that for just a second over here. Uh, we're going to pop into Lunk Dash and you can see how people vote and what they are doing. So uh, the concept is stakers are required to lock a specific amount of USTC alongside the Lunk delegations <clears throat> in order to stabilize the USTC price. So if we do it to one cent, then there would be you know enough to, to, to peg it to one cent. And uh, if you want to raise it up to two cents, you know, as this grows and as this build, as more of it gets staked in here, uh, and as you earn more yield and return off of it, then it becomes something that you would want to do. That's why the, the lending protocol is so vital because it will help all of these pieces here. So uh, the, the idea here, though, is the mechanism will be governed by parameters, uh, which can be easily adjusted. Again, we just adjust the, the parameters the, the, the right way, and it, it, there's no problem with it. So stakers are required to lock a specific amount of USTC alongside their lunk. Uh, when the price of USTC falls below the peg, stakers must lock additional USTC to maintain eligibility for full staking rewards. We just change that to additional rewards. Uh, this uh, encourages stakers to purchase USTC at a discounted rate, exerting upward pressure on USTC and driving it back towards the peg. So um, it, it does it really well if you give incentive for it and not penalty for it, it probably works. Uh, as the price of USTC returns to the peg, stakers are no longer required to maintain the additional USTC balance to earn rewards, allowing them to freely sell those extra USTC at a profit, uh, which of course you know reduces the price back around towards that peg. Uh, the community sets an additional price peg through governance and incrementally increases it over time. Again, two cents, three cents, you know, five cents, whatever the number may be. No lockup duration or restrictions on USTC. Stakers can lock and 
unlock at any time. Uh, USTC locking ratio is dynamically adjusted based on the Oracle price of USTC, uh, requiring an algorithm for adjustment. Uh, stakers continue earning partial rewards even if locked USTC falls below the required ratio. And really, stakers continue to earn the current rewards. Uh, even if locked USTC falls below the required ratio, they just stop earning extra yield off of it. That's how that's how you make this work. If you want it to work, that's how you make it work. You give people what they want. People will still bitch. People will still complain. People are still going to moan because that's what they do. They're crybabies, uh, but they're going to be crybabies and look like idiots when they do it. This makes it easier. Uh, so uh, by involving the community and maintaining the peg, the plan ensures decentralization, resilience, and sovereignty. Uh, and guys, listen, I, I want to be fair with you here. And, and look, th those are great. Uh, decentralization, cool. Resilience, awesome. Sovereignty, sure. Uh, achievements that would be difficult to achieve through other means, fair enough. But decentralization, all nodes controls most of the staking uh, in the ecosystem. Jesus is Lord has multiple uh, votes and multiple validators. And who knows how many other places have additional validators that are just differently named. The one that, you know, the easy target here, Jesus is Lord and Jesus is Lord too, uh, that they are using it and consolidating and centralizing power. <coughs> but let's face it, if they're voting along with all nodes and all nodes is voting in favor of themselves and they're all in on it together, look at the power and the strength of what it is that they can do when they vote. Uh, right now, just to give you an idea here, we've got 10 votes for yes, uh, 10 votes for no, 15 votes for no, but look at this, 1.62%, 1.47%. So we look at that and we look at a power structure here. Interstellar Lounge with almost 6% voting power. Jesus is Lord with 4.5% plus an extra 1.6%. So, you know, there's only one person voting yes here that has as much power as the second Jesus is Lord. Okay, so uh, we should at least consider this. And by the way, I don't know if this is a great. I, I don't this the way it's currently written. Not a great idea. Not 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 perfect. Uh, and then who's abstaining? Who doesn't care one way or another? Uh, very small validators by by percentage over here. Uh, highest one zero point three nine. So again, you know once. Uh, all nodes tips the scale with their ridiculous percentage, then, you know, you'll, you'll see something a little bit different. You'll, you'll see um, that this get weighed down. There's no way at, the, at this point, there, there's no way that this, this thing passes. There's too, there's way too much. No, uh, right here. Uh, you know, you get yes, three, three percent. Uh, you got no 16.9 percent and you're going to get over. It's just no, there's just no, it, just, it doesn't look like there's any way for it to pass at this point. Again, poorly worded, probably needs to be addressed a little bit better. Um, but there is some some conversation and some talk about uh, making something happen. And that's what we need, something to happen. So let's move on to price action and let's speed this along. Uh, I, I did uh, do something. I'm going to show you uh, real quick how this looks and, and just to give you guys an idea because I think it's very important uh, for you to see how this looks. So this is price. Cryptonomy.finance is your venture capital investment fund. If you're looking to launch a project and you need seed capital, Contact Cryptonomy.finance today. They have a $74 million investment fund, and they processed over $10 billion in the last five years. So far, guys, on my flexible account, I've earned 0 0.001 Bitcoin. On my fixed account, this is where it gets interesting. We're going to make another deposit here, 0.5 Bitcoin. We're going to do this for 12 months again. We create another staking protocol with a half a Bitcoin for the next one year. Checking my Ethereum holdings, you can see that by the end of this vesting process, I will have 3.23 Ethereum more than the three that I put in. And the most important thing, gentlemen, ladies, the launch pad. The launch pad is still producing significant yields on every launch. My accrued interest so far, a little bit over $109,000. Can't stress to you enough, guys. Check out Cryptonomy.finance today if you need venture capital or if you just want to earn some yield off of your holding section. First of all, uh, we are on this upward trend. Now, we've broken out of, remember I told you yesterday there was this kind of a, a, a upward-facing channel here, uh, and that I would expect that we probably have a pump up and then a back down. Well, we did exactly that. So um, not to brag, but you know we, we did, we got the little pump going up, but then look at this, we broke down below the... Uh, uh, we, we broke down below this sort of lower area over here, which that's fine. This is the market is kind of waning at this point. But I mean, you just kind of break this outward like this. And this is going to be the bounce zone. And then, of course, this becomes the top up here. So we're still moving uh, overall in that right direction. The market has not been kind to us for the last couple of days. Now, 
when you look at that and you, I explain to you why it's Bitcoin. Bitcoin's, you know, this is what Bitcoin looks like for the last, uh, I, I want to say, let's call this, you know, month and a half uh, after that big top 73.757. We're now at 63. So, you know, we're down significantly on Bitcoin from the price uh, to the bottom. We're down 24%. So um, it stands to reason that the rest of the market uh, during that same period of time, what is this, March 13? So, you know, from March 13 uh, to now. Um, we go from March 13 until now. Where are we? So it's about right there. So uh, you just kind of, and, and there is a correlation here, um, 42%. So, you know, we're looking at downward momentum. We're looking at these pieces, not, you know, falling into place. And, and it's really Bitcoin dragging the market down because that's where the big capital comes in. And that's where it all splashes down and comes into our community, creates vibrance and creates, you know, use case utility. People start to build on it. You know, all of that is because of funding. And when the funding is in place for Luna Classic, then that's when we start to see, you know, positive price action. Well, uh, this pattern is and, and by the way, if you start to you know, break this out a little bit further, uh, then you can start to establish that there is still you know patterns playing out. And if you will, uh, I told you this top right here. Well, there's cor correlating tops, right? Um, and let me get this just right. You can kind of see how you know you've got this other sort of top forming across this, and we wicked off of that, and we're coming back down, and then you know it's going to be for a breakout now. This breakout right here, hopefully, is to the upside. Uh, maybe even comes down through here as, as it breaks out of this channel, and then boom, uh, we start to back test and come back up here, and still do the same thing that I said we were most likely going to do. Uh, it just, you know, the pattern doesn't always play out 100%. Uh, also on USTC, again, I'm not as bullish on this as some of you guys are at this point, uh, and you can see it's just absolutely perfect uh, how this played out. If you are risk on, then it moved to the 100 MA and immediately got rejected from the 100 MA. Uh, consider this the impulse move over here. Uh, boom, boom. We're already in that um, reversal range, if you will. So I, very possible that we get another breakout on this. Not sure if we do or not, but let's keep moving on here. Uh, volume way down 62%. Uh, volume way down 62%. <laughs> Price action, uh, price, uh, the USTC is down 10% and 5.6% on this day. Um, you know, just a lot of <laughs> going on in the market and it's waning on, the, you know, the entire thing. We need more money coming into Bitcoin, a little bit more money coming into Bitcoin than the next thing that you know, uh, the rest of the market will start to pump because that money cascades down. You know how it works. We don't have to go over it again. Uh, but uh, let's talk about this new project. Again, it's not really a new project. It's an old project we talked about before, but I really want to bring it back around for you. And that was Terra Tritium. Uh, Terra Tritium, a really, really cool uh, sort of space game. Um, as you can see right here, this is your, your beta area. So you can connect to it. And you guys saw me play this before, but it, you know it's basically one of your building games. And look, these things make th these things make millions of dollars on the app stores uh, for Google and and uh, for for Google and Android. Jesus Christ, please get your shit together uh, for Android and <laughs> the iOS. Uh, the, these stores uh, will 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 do fantastic stuff. So um, you know we've got our first little building here that we've built. Uh, we've got plenty of other spots right now. I'm not going to play the game. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to do that to you. But you can pick now what kind of structures that you want to do, uh, what you want to build, and then of course, uh, you know, play your game the way you you play your game. Now, uh, if you want to and you want to check this out, then you've got it. Um, uh, there, there was that link over here, and then of course, there's this link over here. Experience the future of MMO gaming with this exciting Web3 strategy game. Lead your civilization through galaxies, mining and our real crypto assets. So, you know, you're going to earn crypto for doing this, and that's the Terra Tritium token, which can be bought. By the way. Uh, right down here uh you can see here terra casino if you want to do some risk-based gaming uh, bitcoin ethereum uh weeks if you want to do some burning of loan tokens by trading and then of course this is sponsored uh the sponsor right here this this little sponsor right here terraport so if you go to terraport.finance then you can trade terra tritium token uh let me pull this up for you and you can see it so you have the terra tritium token right here so um all you have to do is go to terraport.finance and um dig in and check it out. Now, if you are so interested in it, it's terratritium.com. And uh, the, the, here's the price action. You can see this, you know, right here, um, it's seven, it, seven, down 17% over the course of the last uh, couple of days. We have to kind of zoom out, you know, this, the, this, the trading volume, uh, pretty low on 
most of these tokens, if you will. Uh, liquidity right here, uh, a fair dollar value, by the way, $703,000. Uh, liquidity is 8.69. Uh, volume, 1.25K. So, guys, if you want to, here's the thing. And, and this is the thing. You know, guys, you're out here looking for the next big explosive move, right? Well, they're here. You just you have to go buy them. So if you haven't already, uh, fund your Lunk wallet, go check out Teratritium, you know, go check out Frag, go check out Frog, go check out FRG, uh, go check out uh, Lenny Lunk, go check out all of these different meme coins and video game coins that are available to you right now through the Luna Classic community. And then yeah, just hold on tight and you don't have to put much in. Let's let's remember here, uh, we've got a, a, a low volume, we've got 506 traders right now on Teratritium. What happens when there's 5,000? You know, saying 10x is 20x is 30x is 50x is because people start finding the game. You know, all you have to do is just imagine what happens when this bull run. Just do it. That's all you got to do. You know what I mean? So anyway, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it's not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much. Uh, again, go check out Terra Tritium. Uh, check out definitely Terra Casino. And use terraport.finance for all of your, your transactions, stuff like that. And Weeks, if you want to uh, help me out, helps me out tremendously if you trade on Weeks because it burns tokens and I get a commission for it. So it's not financial advice, but I'm always.